Hi, my name's Crystal Sparrow. I am a Coast Salish artist from the Musqueam First Nations. I am a third generation um, Coast Salish artist in my family, and I am a female carver. And uh, the art piece that I submitted for the AR um, project was the uh, Coast Salish uh, spindle whirl. Uh, that is um, a design of a wolf transforming into a man. Yeah, so developing um, the ARPs for my work of the uh, transforming uh, wolf spindle world was much more different as it's more of like um, digital, um, you know, a bit of graphic work and, uh, you know, just like a new kind of like technology uh, um, aspect of, you know, taking a, a, a 2D or a 3D work and, uh, you know, making it like, um, like a reality and digital kind of a piece is much, you know, it's, it, it's new to me and um, compared to, you know, more of a hands-on uh, working with, like working with your materials like cedar that I work with, you know, you're, you're using tools um, and you're using your hands and you're kind of, you know, um, creating that way. So it's much more different to um, have your work and, and to see your work being created in a, you know, kind of a, a new digital uh, reality um, way of working with art. Um, yeah, it was definitely an interesting process to have an image of my spindle world, you know, be, to to be created uh, in a in a two D and then a three D uh, form was, you know new and I just think it's very exciting to be able to have uh, artwork uh, transformed in that way um, and especially that it's it can be very interactive as well even though you can't actually like it's not tangible where you can touch the actual art piece but I think there's a, a uniqueness about having it you know developed in the in the AR um, uh, techniques where uh, you can still see the work um, moving or, you know, in, in may maybe some ways still transforming um, from your kind of original idea. So, yeah, I, I think it, I think um, being a part of this process and having my work uh, transformed into AR is uh, definitely unique and I can, I can see my work um, developing more maybe into a 3D way of uh, storytelling or a way of people to interact with how I see the world as an artist, as a, as a Coast Salish artist. Uh, and maybe there's some things that I can bring forward uh, that relates to the past um, with, with my people in, in a way to share with the world how I would see that being done in uh, AR artwork. Myself, I, I, I could see creating uh, legends, uh, myths through augmented art. So taking um, these, these stories of you know, these um, shamans or um, teachers that uh, once taught lessons to, to our people, um, I think that can be a really neat opportunity to recreate those characters and bring those teachings forward in a way that is, you know, um, 3D, so it's almost like they're actually here. So it's kind of like drawing from this, you know, this this really far past of these teachers 
of these really important spiritual people as well and bringing them back here in this time, but through this reality way of looking at art. I think that would be fascinating. That's something that I've been thinking about since I started working um, with my piece is uh, that would be quite unique. So yeah, there's a lot more I could say, but I think I'll just keep it there. Well, I, I definitely feel good about everything I shared and um, I wanted to mention about the experience of actually going to see my work. Um, it was really, it was actually a bit kind of nerve wracking, but it was fun um, because I didn't know what to expect. So, you know, going down to the location where uh, my, my art piece is located, really cl actually quite close to the public, um, to the Vancouver Public Library. Uh, I actually went there during the late evening because I wanted to see what it would look like during the nighttime. And it was really neat to have that experience where I could take my phone and I could see my work, uh, you know, going from a real, like, just like a flat surface on this, you know, nice panel um, to this, you know, augmented 3D spinning uh, spindle whirl, which, you know, I thought was quite neat to actually be standing there and seeing that. And, and just being able to interact with my work that way, I thought that was a really neat experience. And also to see people in Vancouver, you know, you know, taking the time to go to each location. And I did see a few people coming to towards me to actually look at what I was looking at. So, you know, I think there's a real interest and a real curiosity of, of, of uh, folks in Vancouver who like to, you know, participate and, and, and interact with art. So that was a real neat witnessing for me and, and a really good experience to be a part of that um, connection of seeing my work. 